guys. Um, <clears throat> so apology today. Okay, just had to move a couple of things around. Um, no, I was posed a question. Um, regarding why do um, toxic people leave shit around your house? Okay. <clears throat> How do you know it's that shit? Yeah. Could be from somebody else's fucking house, mate. You know what I mean? <clears throat> <sighs> so, yeah. It's quite a simple short video. Um, if you're in a relationship with one of these people and it's ended, okay? Um, and you still have some of their shit in your house, then you have to remove those items immediately, okay? Because, um, a little fucking story from way back, okay? Um, I actually had a flat and I moved away from it, okay? I didn't even have the keys for the fucking property, right? Um, I can't remember what I was doing at that point, it's way too far ago, uh, but I do remember certain details. Um, now, bearing in mind, I was pretty much travelling on a mountain bike back then, like I do now, you know, because I've got no licence or nothing to get a vehicle with. So, um, I can remember one of the instances that I was actually dragged into a police station uh, for a theft or burglary, right, um, from a pub in Penryn somewhere. I don't know where this pub was, um, you know, it's not like I went out drinking at all the pubs every week because I didn't, you know, I very rarely drank, <clears throat> I'd, rather, I'd rather have a doobie, you know what I mean, so with that, I don't know the names of the pubs or where they are, I mean, I, I do know a fair few, well, a fair few are because they're all up and down the main street, um, but anyway, regardless, going off topic now, um, so I'd moved away, Right, from my flat in Cornwall, in Penryn, okay. Uh, and it just so happened to be opposite a garage, which is, you know, quite convenient. But anyway, as I said, I didn't have the key, and I'd moved, right. Uh, and I got hauled into a police station to answer for uh, a burglary charge. So I sat in the interview room, and one of the officers was telling me how I ripped off a pub, and allegedly stole a lot of music equipment. How? The only transport I had was a bike. Um, no. After I left, right, my brother-in-law who's living above me, okay, no. Thing about my brother-in-law, okay, he's a nasty bastard, right? I've never actually found out what his deal is until five years ago, okay? Um, <clears throat> but apparently he got hauled into the police station to start with, right? And then... He obviously tells the police that I used to live there, and then they come to me. So I was in an interview room being fucking questioned by these officers. I'm like, I don't really fucking know what's going on here. You dragged me to the police station. You're telling me that I've done this, when the actual fact and the reality is that I couldn't have done it because I'm not even down there. I don't have a fucking key to for, for the property. Because I, you know, I did rent it out. 
well it was it obviously you know um and how would I do all that on a mountain bike you know I said look it's got nothing to do with fucking me no idea what the fuck you're talking about so anyway after that I get a, 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 a phone call from my brother-in-law going oh what the fuck are you doing fucking stashing stolen items in the flat I was like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about you know what I mean <clears throat> but the guy that had my flat afterwards knew my brother-in-law and the guy that had my flat afterwards was a known fucking thief junkie yeah he knew my brother-in-law So, yeah, it's all a little bit fucking dodgy, isn't it? So, even back then, they were trying to stitch me up for shit. I've only just fucking thought about that recently. It's like, holy shit. And we're talking about 20 years ago, yeah? So this has been a long, long fucking load of bullshit that I've had to go through. Uh, but yeah, so, and this is why I'm talking about this, yeah, is because when an, a toxic person leaves shit in your house, yeah, leaves their belongings, you don't even know if they're their belongings, yeah. They're probably somebody else's, some other poor soul's belongings that he's taken, yeah, and left at your fucking house, mate. So, if the police arrive, right, right, you've got a load of fucking dodgy stolen gear in there, and you're being hauled off down to the station. Yeah, so, anything that these people leave in your house, you have to remove, guaranteed, yeah. Remove it, and keep it fucking zipped, yeah. <clears throat> um, because I'll tell you what, I've been through some fucking bullshit in my life, and this, you know, it's, <sighs> I'm like, what the fuck? You're actually putting this on me? Good luck with that copper. <sighs> and every fucking court case that I've been into, yeah, up until recently, that I've been dragged into over the bullshit, yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah. So why can't they do these people for fucking uh, perverting the course of justice and perjury, right? Not to mention all the other bullshit fucking claims that they can get. What, is it too hard for the fucking police, is it? Jesus. But yeah. If you've um, if you've broken up with a, a narcissistic toxic person and he's left his shit at your house, you have to remove it and clean house immediately, okay? Because who fucking knows where those items have come from and if they're stolen or not, right? I'm just watching that for you guys. You do not want to be hauled down to the police station and charged for basically theft, right? Because this is what they do, and you will be charged for theft. The narc's already denied it. And he's got backup. Have you? No, you're one person. And I've dealt with this time and again, yeah? You're one person up against two or three liars. You don't stand a fucking hope in hell's chance, right? You will be rolled over in a second. Yeah? And I've been rolled over in a second about four or five times in my life. Yeah? And currently, I can't be asked for that anymore. Yeah? It just seems like every time I've got it up to a certain standard, in this fucking sweep, trash, trash, take, take, smash, smash, and just fuck off again. So, really, mate. And now they're telling me to get a job, right? When the fact of the reality is, yeah, that I was actually busting my ass down in Cornwall, self employed, working for myself. Yeah? Pretty much fucking set up. Going out every day trying to fucking get, 
you get a work. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, and yeah, I, I I was pretty much adapting at that point. Um, I got into boats a bit. But I could never pull it off because I had too many people fucking about behind my back. Yeah, way too many people fucking about behind my back. Causing me fucking aggravation and problems. You know, as soon as I left my narrow boat, they were all in my gear. Ransacking it, looking to it, fucking taking what they wanted. Just trashing the rest of it, yeah. As soon as I get back, I'm arrested for bullshit. I'm sitting in that fucking interview room going, what the fuck are you doing, coppers? Yeah. You're arresting me because he's fucking lying, said something. I was like, really? I'm fucking tired of this crap. Absolutely fucking worn out with it. So, yeah, just a warning there, guys. Very fucking strong warning. Do not have anything associated with him or her if he's left and left shit at your house. Remove it immediately, burn it, whatever, yeah? What I suggest after, you know, he's put you through all this shit, sell the valuables on eBay, get a shot of them, yeah? You can do it in a week, gone, yeah? Anything that's worth a little bit of money, stick on eBay and I'll fucking get a shot of it. The rest, just fucking burn it in a bin, yeah? Because <clears throat> that's what I would do. Thank <laughs> you.